Hello there and welcome to the MacMira Reserve Cast Show, the first episode of what is going to be uh, a quarterly show on the MacMira channel here. My name is Matt Chambers, I'm the UK brand ambassador for the MacMira Reserve Cast program and I'm delighted to welcome onto the, the first show as the, our very first guest, Nick Runev, who is the founder of uh, the SE23 Whiskey Club, is actually one of the first people to buy uh, a reserve cask when we launched in the UK last year as well. So welcome, Nick. Thanks, Matt. And uh, what we're going to do is just give you a, a basic introduction to what the reserve cask program is. Uh, we'll talk to Nick about sort of how he found the process and how he decided on what cask to, to buy. And also then we'll go through about how to start your journey towards purchasing a, a reserve cask and also a little bit about pricing at the end. So to start with, what is the MacMira reserve cask? You know, if you've not heard of it, I'm going to go through the, the basics of what it is and what it allows you to do and the opportunities that it gives you. So what the reserve cask program is, is a program of cask ownership. Uh, that was started by MacMira in Sweden 16 years ago and to date have a, an amazing amount of people, 20,000 people alone in Sweden, just over 20,000 people uh, uh, as cask owners. And it's launched in the UK last year. And what it really does is it enables you to design and create your very own whiskey to your own personal tastes. So you do that by having four key decisions to make to begin with. Uh, the first one is the spirit type. So you have the elegant, which is the, the classic spirit that uh, we make at MacMira most of the year. And then you also have uh, the rook, which is the smoky spirit. And you get to choose which of these two new make spirits that go into your cask. Uh, so that's the first choice, spirit type. The second choice is then the type of cast that you put it in. And this, uh, there's a set of casts which are readily available. Uh, and these come from different origins around the world. So we have the bourbon cask uh, from uh, America. We have Oloroso sherry casks coming from Jerez in the south of Spain. And we also have virgin oak, uh, American oak casks and also Swedish oak casks. So uh, these are the ones that are readily available and you can put either of those two spirit types into any of those casks, that's, that's your choice. And there's occasional limited editions as well uh, that pop up from time to time. You know, last year we had some, uh, a small amount of port casks and cognac casks and various wine casks, for example, but they're limited and few and far between. So there are your two main choices, the spirit type and then the cast type. Uh, your third choice is the maturation warehouse where your, your whiskey will uh, be maturing uh, for a few years. The main two that we use for the reserve cask uh, program uh, are the Bodas Mine, which is a short drive away from the, the Gravity Distillery, and also uh, the Forest uh, Warehouse, which is uh, right next to the Gravity Distillery, actually. So uh, these are, are the best for the reserve casks. It's where most of these uh, casks have been matured over the years. And because of the closeness to the distillery, they're also easy for you to visit, you know, when we have travel restrictions lifted uh, and, and so on. So when you visit the distillery, you can go and visit your own cask. Uh, there are other options around uh, Sweden. We have a, a number of other warehouses including, yeah, here's Lofstalen, which is right up inside the Arctic Circle, a spectacular location. There's others on a sort of island in a freshwater lake and then a couple down by Stockholm, a couple down by Gothenburg. So you get to choose that as well. As well. Uh, your fourth choice is then um, you get to choose when the, your whiskey is bottled. And this is something that uh, there's a number of other cast programs run by other distilleries and brands. But uh, you certainly don't get to choose, you know, the combination of these, these four things. So you get to follow your cask's progress sort of over the journey of its life. 
And this comes through uh, getting samples on a regular basis, so, sort of on or around its anniversary each year. And also the access to a cask web system once you your purchase goes through. So you can actually see digitally what's happening to your cask and how it's progressing as well. So that's a key difference to uh, sort of what others are offering uh, as well. The fact you get to choose all of these different things. Uh, so you also get to uh, design a little plaque that goes on the, the side of your, your car. So you can write sort of on there whatever you want. And also at a later date, you get to choose uh, a label design as well. So you can have your, your very own whiskey with your very own label. So an example here, you have all your cask information on the bottom in the bottom half of this. And then you can put your own sort of design, whiskey club logo, uh, a photo, a drawing, whatever you want sort of on the top. So again, that's, that's quite cool. So what we're talking about here in terms of cask size is 30 litre casks. And these are specially coopered for us at MacMira at a Swedish cooperage. And as a result, you have a maximum of five years maturation because what you get here is quite a, a vigorous interaction between the spirit and the wood. You think compared to a regular size cask, say a 200 litre bourbon cask or a, a 500 litre sherry cask, the ratio of wood to spirit is, is much higher. So you get a very vigorous, active interaction uh, with the cask. And it's 30 litres basically because this was the original still size that uh, when the distillery was founded in uh, 1999, uh, a couple of the founders actually built the still themselves and it had a spirit run of 30 litres. So they were filling these small casks sort of one at a time with each spirit run. So this is why it's 30 litres as well, which is you know, a very nice size because the average number of bottles that you get out of this at the end of the day is 54. And these are bottled at the natural cast strength. So uh, don't alter the strength at all. So what you get is what you get, but the average comes out at around 52% ABV. But of course, with anything whiskey related, there can be a bit of fluctuation. So you might end up with a couple more bottles if you're lucky, or a couple less, or a slightly higher ABV or slightly less. You know, there's always this fluctuation with maturing whiskey casks. And these can really be purchased by anybody. They can uh, be purchased as an individual or as a, you know, a couple of friends or colleagues or as part of a, a sort of small group. And it really gives you the opportunity to join this ever-growing cast owners community at MacMira and join the Mac, be part of the MacMira family and follow the progress of your cask. So, you know, really by taking these four key decisions of the spirit type, the cask type, the maturation location, and the time to bottle, uh, you're really creating your own whiskey. You get to play God essentially. And how many times do we, you know, get the pleasure of doing that? So that's the, McMira Reserve cask in a fairly large nutshell. But I think it's time we now talk to Nick. As I said, uh, Nick is the founder of the SE23 Whiskey Club and was one of the first cask owners uh, when we launched in the UK last year. So welcome again, Nick. I spotted that you've got a, a dram on the go there. What, what do you have? Uh, thanks, Matt. Uh, I'm having a bit of McMira, obviously, uh, mm. and a bit of Rook. Good man, the Spence just, Rook. Uh, I've got a uh, stunning. Yeah, great to hear. I've got uh, a dram as well, and this is the uh, the new Bjork Sav, which is the Birch Sap wine, part matured in Birch Sap wine cast. So yeah, very very nice seasonal uh, release. So yeah, smells and tastes absolutely delicious. But uh, really, let's talk about the the SE Twenty Three Whiskey Club to start with. Uh, when did you start it and why did you start it? 
so we the, the idea was born in late 2014 and we probably to be honest started it because of we were lazy so we used to go to these whiskey shows and whiskey tastings and whiskey shops and do tastings all the time and we basically thought that they're all really in central london so there's nothing in south london happening so we decided to just see what happens and i we just posted on a couple of forums and people came and that's how it started great so how how many when when was that uh this was so the first tasting was in january 2015 and we've done 160 tastings since wow so that, that's pretty prolific how, how many members do, do you have uh so we have about 100 people uh, in, in our member list but we have a core audience of about 40 or 50 people that join pretty much every tasting yeah, there's there's a good as you can see that's quite an old photo because there's me without a beard on the <laughs> on the far side and uh yeah i've done a couple of tastings with you and they're great fun a great group of, of of people so your core of regulars and then you kind of swell to uh sort of include everyone else as well uh, so when did you first really discover macmira properly would you say I don't remember when, but it was uh, one of the whiskey shows uh, from Whiskey Exchange, and it was probably maybe seven or eight or ten years ago. I don't remember. I met uh, Angela on a stand, and what really impressed me was, you know, we back in those, those days, you didn't meet a lot of women distillers, um, and it was great to talk to her. And you know, she was uh, she was really informative about it, and you know, we chatted quite a bit, and yeah, it was really good. Probably tried quite a lot of samples. Um... No, yeah, most likely yeah <laughs> I, I do not recall yeah. i mean she she gives amazing insight into the not not just macmira but the art of uh, sort of blending cast together to create whiskey as well so i mean that's a great introduction there there she is on the screen uh, angela the the master blender and what do you like particularly about macmira it, it was really the romance for me of how the distillery got started, how people, you know, got together in, on a skiing trip and drank whiskey and then decided, oh, why don't we just make a distillery, you know? And, you know, this this is great. And then the honesty of uh, of the distillery, the spirit, how everything's made, the, how everything's open, um, those sort of things really appealed to me. Yeah, and I think there's this sort of, um, what I, when, when I, sort of first discovered Macmira was really um I loved this sort of the innovation that that's going on so now to to be working uh, for them is is fabulous for, for me because I, I love the fact there's you know some of these more unorthodox casks and you know some of these sort of releases you know it's just expanding and, you know when you're talking about the introduction that you know the, the sort of world whiskey scene you know certainly wasn't what it is now and you know, McMira were really at the front of, of that as well. And so what therefore attracted you to uh, look at purchasing a reserve cask in the program itself? I've always wanted to buy a cask um, and it was always stopped by the massive sizes of casks that were on offer. So nobody really offered small casks. Um, you know, even last year or a few years ago. Um, and then McBira gives you that massive choice of what spirit you want, what new make you want, what type of cask you want, how long do you want to mature it, you know, you get samples. And it's 30 litres, 30 litres isn't a lot, you know. So, you know, even even by myself, I can probably, you know, get through 30 litres fairly quickly. Yeah, you don't end up with sort of 200 bottles or at the end of the day. You know, yeah, exactly. But, but you're, yeah, but you're also in control. So th this is more important. You know, when you buy a cask from somebody else, you're not really in control, are you? You know. Mm. Yeah, because it, it's either matured anyway, or someone else is choosing. Yeah. So, mm. so this is, you know, the freedom of this. Really, you you get to control its destiny. And how did you find the process of uh, purchasing? You know, how did you go about it? I mean, Matt, I've known you for quite a few years now, but so obviously, you know, for me, it was really easy. I just pinged you an email and said, Matt, you know, <laughs> give give us some samples and, you know, I want to look into buying a cask. And and that was it. You know, we just got the samples. I, I tried them and, you know, I, I decided what I really wanted uh, at that top point. And um, that was it. Really, really easy. To be honest. And, what, and what helped you to uh, to really make your final decision, would you say? I really, really liked the, the spirit I tried. So the, 
the, the cask that I got ended up getting is Rookin Oloroso, and I really fell in love with that uh, when I tried the sample. And I'm hoping my cask is going to be something like that. But from previous experience, they're all pretty good. But try, try and not just from what from what you've said there, but from what you know, other people that I've done uh, consultations and tastings for, the fact that you get to choose all of the combinations, you know, that I have here that I can send to people, the fact that um, you get to cho you get to see how the spirit works with different casks, and you can then sit and make your sort of uh, calculated judgment, can't you? So. What would you say um, to anybody that's thinking of buying a reserve cast themselves or, or starting on the journey? You know, did you have any reservations, would you say? Um, my only reservation was, you know, to do with like duties and shipping and um, stuff like that, which which were really not an issue at all. Um, I've bought casks from McMurray before um, and it's never been an issue. Um, I would well, what would I would say to people is um, go in as you know with a friend or a couple of friends or four friends you know not more than four people because you know the casks are small but that would be a, a great whiskey journey for you guys and you know or girls and you know you, you get to see how your spirit develops in the cask mm -hmm. and you get to make choices and you know I'm sure the program is fairly flexible that if you don't like where your whiskey is going you probably can move it into another cask or you know things like that but i think this is the point of it you know it's it's a whiskey journey really mm. yeah well th thanks thanks nick thanks and thanks for your insights and I'll, I'll leave you to enjoy your dram for a bit while i go through about how people actually uh, start that uh, start that journey so so thanks thanks very much and really the way to to start there's a couple of ways of doing it the the first so the most obvious way is to organize a tasting and consultation with myself like like I did with Nick, um, and you know I have uh, samples here of all the combinations of the elegant and the rook spirits with the different casts that I mentioned as well. Uh, so, of course, uh, urge people to get in touch with me. I'm more than happy for people to get in touch with me directly. Uh, my email is just going across the screen here. It's matt.chambers at macmira.com, and of course, then we can talk about what you're maybe looking for and I can bottle some small samples up and send them out to you. And we then arrange a, a, an online video chat, you know, a bit like we're having here. But uh, of course, hopefully not much longer now before we can all sort of meet face to face uh, and, you know, sort, sort of more in person because this is a personal service. You know, it's a one to one thing or one to a small group because and to me, it has to be like that because it's not every day you spend this amount of money and buy a cask of whiskey, or certainly not for most people anyway. Uh, so, you know, please contact me, matt.chambers at macmira.com. Uh, you can also purchase uh, via the UK website, macmira.co.uk. On that, there is a reserve cask consultation pack, which you, uh, you se select. Uh, it will then ask you to select, there's a series of dates on a drop-down menu where I'm holding consultations for people that have bought the pack. Uh, so you just choose whichever one is convenient for you. And actually at the moment, what I'd like to offer uh, for anyone watching this and uh, sort of purchasing one of these reserve cars consultation packs over the, the next sort of uh, few days is that I will then get in touch as well. Uh, and send an additional random sample of something that's not in the pack. Uh, so it would just, again, sort of give you a bit more scope of what, what's happening with the different combinations. So uh, you also get, here, here's the pack on the screen. Uh, so this is what you get. And as I say, I will send an additional uh, sample personally to everyone that buys a pack in the next uh, sort of few days you actually get the money back I think it's uh, around 23 24 pounds for that pack but you get that money back if you end up buying a cask uh, so you know it's 23 24 pounds at the end of the day so it all helps um, and of course what the web the UK website has also 
is a massive amount of information about the cast uh, reserve cast program you know gone into way it goes into way more detail than i'm able to uh, tonight so you can also purchase your cast directly through the website again there's a series of drop down menus where you select the cast type and the spirit type and the warehouse uh, but of course you know most people that i'm talking to they choose to uh, do it through me uh, so I can take the details I can check over everything and then submit it on your behalf so it's again an extension of this sort of personal one-to-one -one service you know I'm more than happy to do that so just before we sort of wrap up it should go into the pricing as well uh, I'm not going to go fully into every price for every combination but just to give everyone watching an idea of of how things work so there's two prices to pay one up front and one when you come to uh, bottle later in uh, down the journey in sort of four or five years time so what the initial price covers is the spirit in the cask and this depends on the combination of spirit and cask that you choose so the prices start, for example, for Elegant Bourbon at £1,745. Then if you add the uh, Rook spirit on top of that, which is you know, a little bit rarer, made for a lot shorter period of the year, the price goes up a little bit. And the same happens with some of those other cast types as well. So the American Oak or the Swedish Oak or the Oloroso Sherry or the limited editions um, that occasionally pop up as well. So the price will, will work that way. It depends on the spirit and cast combination that you have. There's also uh, one or two other small additional fees uh, which you, you have to, to pay. There's a small fee for labeling. And there's also, if you want one of the other warehouses that's not the forest warehouse next to the gravity distillery or the bodas mine if you select one of the other warehouses that's not either of those then there's a small uh, fee a small charge to change the warehouse to transportation etc and for you know getting people to draw the samples and so on uh, so just to be aware of that and you have the option to pay in full and this is either through the, the website or uh, through, you know, going through me. Uh, so you can pay in full or recently we've introduced uh, a thing called Split It, where you actually take whatever that initial fee is and just split it directly into three uh, equal chunks. And you can pay, you know, th a third this month, a third next month and a third uh, the following month. Uh, so... You know, it's up, it's up to you. You can choose either way. And I mentioned there that uh, there's a second price to pay. And this comes at the end. Uh, this is a smaller fee that happens on uh, at the point of bottling. And this is to do with the tax and the duty. So this can't be calculated really until they know the volume of what's physically left in your cask and also the alcohol strength so again i've done a little calculation so using the averages that we spoke about before uh, which is 54 bottles at 52 percent abv uh, using those averages for the elegant bourbon at 1745 the calculation comes out at around 485 pounds uh, for this tax and duty fee. So of course, that could be a little bit more, or a little bit less, depends if you get more or less bottles or higher or lower ABV as well. So that works out at just over 2,200 pounds in total, which is approximately just over 40 pounds a bottle. So to me, that seems like a good price to pay for your own personal whiskey that you've created yourself you've chosen all those different facets to make it into your own sort of personal whiskey with your personal taste 
your own personal label, you know, you've controlled the whole destiny of it. So that doesn't seem too bad. You know, no one else in the world will have your exact whiskey, which is what I love about this program. So really that is it about the reserve, McMira reserve cask in a, in a nutshell. I hope it's been of interest uh, to, to everyone. And, and, you know, I hope to hear from lots of you. As I said, please feel free to contact me directly via my email, matt.chambers at macmira.com. You know, whether that's, you know, if you're interested in, you know, starting your journey towards buying a cask or buying a cask straight away, or even just if you've got any questions, you know, something that I haven't mentioned uh, tonight on the, on the broadcast, uh, you know, please contact me. My, my email is going across the bottom of the screen again. And as I said, if you purchase one of these reserve cast consultation packs from the, the website, I'll uh, throw in a personal uh, free sample of something random as well um, to show you something else that the pack doesn't. Uh, so just before we leave you, uh, I'd like to draw your attention to uh, another very special MacMira live broadcast, which is happening on Saturday, so 27th of March, and it's International Whiskey Day, and we're uh, joined uh, by a host of guests. So we've got the Kurak Irish uh, Whiskey, we've got Paul John Indian Whiskey, and we've got Westland from Seattle on the west coast of the United States joining us at MacMira as you know, so four of the leading uh, world, international, sort of new world whiskies. Uh, so please join us. That's at 3 p.m. Uh, so slightly different time from when we normally broadcast live. So International Whiskey Day, Saturday the 27th, 3 p.m. All it leaves me to do is say a huge thanks to Nick for joining us tonight and for your great insight. And I wish you all the success or continued success with the SE23 Whiskey Club. So thanks very much, Nick. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. My wife just brought me one of our bottles so you can see what it looks like. Oh, so you can just this put is your one label in there. You purchased a cask that was already matured, didn't you? Yeah, this, oh, this yes. is already cask, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for showing that. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back with the next McMira Reserve car show in June. Uh, so I hope to see you then. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.